If you're having trouble with your Retron SQ, the best way to fix this is to do a complete reflash of your console. First, unplug the SD card from your console. Then you want to plug the SD card into your PC. Your SD card will come up as multiple partitions. The goal here is to reflash the partitions down to one single partition. In order to do that, search for disk management on your PC. From here, you should be able to see your hard drive as well as the SD card that we need to reflash. Be very careful with this step because you do run the risk of ruining your computer if you pick the wrong disk. So make sure that you are picking your SD card. To verify this, unplug your SD card to make sure that you are not choosing your hard drive. Once you plug your SD card back in, you should be able to see which one your SD card comes up as. After you've cleared each partition of your SD card, you will need to initialize your SD card to turn it back into a readable card. From there, we're gonna go ahead and format it and now you should be back to factory settings on the SD card. Now we recommend using the software Bellina Etcher. You can look it up via Google. We will also have it linked down in the description below. Next, you wanna to go to the Hyperkin store website and download the latest firmware for the Retron SQ. As of this recording, the most up-to-date version is version 1.2. Once downloaded, open Bellina Etcher. You can drag the Retron SQ 1.2 firmware into Bellina Etcher and begin flashing your SD card. Once you have successfully reflashed your SD card, take the SD card out of your PC and put it back into your SQ. Now power on your SQ, put in your favorite game and your console should be good to go. Remember, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at hyperkin.com and we'll be happy to assist you with any and all questions that you may have. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.